Hello guys, welcome to DTW Tutorials. Welcome to Discovery Mondays. Okay, um, so Mondays I'm going to be taking you through how stuff works, how some things work. Okay, and uh, today we're going to be learning how a refrigerator works. That's the African refrigerator, and we're going to be comparing that to the what our Oibo refrigerator, which is our white man refrigerator. All right. Okay, so. Ah, I remember if you have not subscribed, please just click the subscribe button is down here. It's down there. Uh, just try to support me to do more, encourage me and uh, definitely support my ministry. Please just click the subscribe button. All right. So we're going to be learning how a refrigerator works the African way and what the white man's way, which is the Oibo way. OK, so let's talk about the African refrigerator. In 1995, a teacher known as Muhammad Ba Abba, which is a gentleman right here, who descends from a pot-making family in Jigawa State, that's the northern part of Nigeria, he invented the pot in pot refrigerator, which is the pictures you're seeing right here. I'm going to explain more on the next slide. Okay, is that called the pot in pot refrigerator or a clay pot cooler? Okay. So it was noticed that uh, you can preserve eggplants for about 27 days and it will still remain fresh. This is an amazing invention done by a Nigerian and I'm proud to be a Nigerian right now as I'm explaining this to you. Because actually I just noticed, I just uh, found out about this, that this was invented by a Nigerian. And also by 2005, he had produced over 91,000 of this pot in pot and distributed this in the north. And I'm going to uh, put a video link um, in the description to show you uh, a video taken by Rolex. Okay, because in 2000, he was a Ro Rolex Laureate Awardee. Okay, he was awarded for this particular invention. All right. So, and he actually used his money. I think in the video, he used about $5,000 of his money first to produce this pot before he was being supported by by other organizations and also the Rolex um, uh, Rolex Awards. Okay, so this is this is really lovely. And I, right now he he has passed on of blessed memory. I really I don't know where this invention is now. I just hope that there's someone a successor who has carried uh, carried on this invention. And I I wish you actually play a part in this. So let's know more about the pot in pot refrigerator. Okay, the basic principle of the functioning of the clay pot cooler is the principle of evaporative cooling. Okay, you know evaporation of water requires energy, which is taken from the ambient air surrounding the pots, the pot in pot system. Okay, so and uh, in the northern part of Nigeria, you have the temperature could get to about 30 degrees Celsius up to 45 and more because it's quite hot in the north. And I think Lagos also gets up quite hot to like 30 degrees Celsius sometimes so now this air this temperature is needed for this evaporative cooling okay I don't have mine now that's why I'm using a slide but by God's grace I'm going to get mine from Jigawa State and when I do I would make a review video for you and upload to show you how it works okay if it can also work very well in Lagos all right because these videos are made from Lagos Nigeria all right so now the system is made up of a bigger pot, a smaller pot, sand, coarse sand between the two pots and also a wet cloth which you use in covering what the smaller pot. So how does evaporation occur? Due to the porosity of the fired clay pot because the clay pots have been fired. All right, water can diffuse through the clay and evaporate on the outside. Now what happens is that the evaporation process consumes all the thermal energy that's the heat from the inside of the what's clay pot you know this you have to wet the sand the sand is being uh, you wet the sand in the morning afternoon and in the evening and evaporation occurs between what it is it's a process that converts liquid to gas so the liquid here can easily diffuse to the outside of the pot and what evaporates so when this happens it leaves the smaller pot within cooler okay the temperature can actually um decrease to about 13 degrees uh, celsius it, it has been proven uh, between 13 degrees celsius to about 20 degrees celsius and if your system is better it can also go lower than this so when it decreases the temperature within the smaller 
pot there, thereby it would preserves your fruits and vegetable so you can see that this method is what it's simply brilliant because you don't need electricity to do this all you need is a clay pot you need water a wet cloth and that's all so this system is quite eco-friendly it's in fact i feel is the best but still you're gonna uh, this um, video is actually very open for comments you're gonna tell me which is better either this african pot or our white man oibo pot okay so let's stay tuned to our next video where we learn how our oibo refrigerator works so guys which do you prefer the african refrigerator or the oibo refrigerator let me know your comments okay try to comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe thank you bye hello our dtw tutorials we offer online tutoring on math physics and other science subjects at an affordable price email us today thank you